Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Bison Workshop, and I'm Bob, as everybody knows. Anyway, uh, I got up this morning and decided I was going to start a new project, and um, I'm trying to put, I got three computers on my desk, three desktops. One is my gaming, one is for Bison, and the other one is just for in case the old lady wants to come in, sit down, and play her farm bill while we sit there and uh, shoot the shit, whatever. So I've got three computers on my desk. My goal is to get two monitors on each computer. So I have to try to come up with a bracket or mounting system for the two monitors that are going to run in a row. I'm going to try to do four big ones in a row and then do two small ones on the bottom row and each computer will have two monitors. Well, I didn't have anything to make any uh, brackets with so I was looking at these uh, garbage disposals that I had laying on the bench outside. It come in a bunch of junk that uh, come out of the back of the car and off of the uh, neighbor's porch because he was a plumber. And I decided this would make a nice base for a monitor. So um, I found this pole. I think it was out of a um, bunk bed. And it's pretty thick walled pipe. And it's heavy. And I've cut two pieces to length. Which is just a hair less than 24 inches. Which is, I was shooting for 24 inches, but I misjudged my uh, cutting. And um, so then I wanted to try to make this the base and just have it have some kind of a uh, something to maybe I can make a base that has this piece in it underneath of it and this here will just uh, screw down on this. This is the plan. Might find a better solution, but you know, then I could screw this base down on this part would be mounted on a bracket that would mount to the desk. So then I all I have to do is to screw my base on it. And I've already got one of these nuts turned so that this pipe will go down in it. So what I'm thinking is this. I've already turned this down in the lathe and uh, made it so that it was set down in there just like so. Now, I uh, wonder why it's not going all the way down in there. It should be going down in there all the way. Okay, so I gotta break off some ears in there so that this base will go all the way to the bottom. So, uh, Basically what I'm going to do instead of breaking those off, I'm going to try to uh, cut them down so that this will fit in there nice and snug and that will help hold it in place. So um, that's the plan is to use this as the base. Then I've got to make something to slide up and down on this that will um, mount the monitor square piece that has the four screw holes in it so that I can bolt the monitor up to the, the side of it. Now I'll have up and down uh, adjustments but I'm afraid I may not have side to side adjustment. Uh, may have to use um, I don't know till I get there. I don't know yet how I'm going to do that. Um, I may just make it up and down uh, adjustable and mount the monitors to it and then just position them on the desk where I want them. And then once I've got them where I want them, then I can just uh, 
screw it down to the desk and it will always be right beside each other where I want it. Uh, then I can adjust each one of them up and down, which ain't no big deal. So um, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe we can black paint it black and uh, maybe put some, who knows, camouflage trim on it or something. Uh, paint this black, probably get skinned up really bad first time you adjust anything, but um, who knows, I might just take the paint clear off of it and um, get it down to bare metal. Nah, I ain't going to blue it. That, that'd take too much blue. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll just leave it red and be done with it. But anyway, I can always make a sleeve to go on it, like a shock boot or something like that to go over it. That would hide the color. But right now, uh, we've got this, and now we're going to take and cut these down probably file them down. I don't think it has much to go before it's, yeah, it wouldn't take but maybe 40 thousandths off of each one of them to uh, get where I want to be so that this fits down in tight. And look, Spider came in, in here for the, uh, for the video. Dead spider. Alright, so that's what we're going to do next is cut that to where this here will go all the way to the ground or to the table. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking my boring bar and going in here and cutting those little lips out of there uh, so that they will match the same as this piece. And I've got it in the jaw. Not the best in the world, but, you know, I'm taking a chance. Uh, I don't have much grip on this, so I'm actually taking a chance. Don't you guys go doing this. But I've got it down a little bit, so we're going to continue to go on. Just checking it with this piece that I have to see if it's gonna fit in there. If it does, then we know we got it right. And another way to check it is just screw this on there and see how close you are to being there. See, we're not there yet. Well, We'll go ahead and take another 15. I think we got it. So now we've got two stains here. Now the 
next thing we need to do is figure out what we're going to do up here. Uh, these are just basically going to set in there. They're, I'm not going to have any clamps or anything like that. I uh, thought about doing a set screw in this part by utilizing this and screw it in there, but it's kind of in the wrong location because those two little tits that I just uh, filed down are on the opposite sides of that. And if I was to use a set screw, you know, thread that and put a set long set screw in it, then it's going to push it up against this side. Now, this side I could put a bolt in there to simulate a side and then put a uh, set screw in here. Now, that's a good possibility because uh, we do have a, a piece in here that we can put a bolt. Like, let's say, for instance, uh, take a bolt like that. Or a bolt like this, but that is too big. I mean, we can even use that and go in there and um, put us a set screw in there, which is probably what I'll end up doing. And then I'll just cap this off. Uh, if I can find two of those, I can make a little flat washer that hides all that and just screw it on there and this side will be a set screw. I think that would work pretty good. So uh, this is just taking a garbage disposal or um, I don't know if it's a garbage disposal or not. I think it's actually a uh, professional grade um, drain that has the lever for opening and shutting the uh, stop or the stopper. So, um, I think the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put it, make us some set screws to put in here, and we'll be back when we find them. All right, so now we've got our stands made. Now we just got to clean them up. And what I've done is we've got a set screw here that goes on the side that tightens that up. And basically what I did was put a nut on this side, and a bolt and a bigger nut so that I could get a socket over top of the 9 16 to tighten it up. And basically, I just needed the width of the nut, so uh, that worked out pretty good. So now I have a choice. I can either leave this the way it is and put a cap on it, make something to put over it or something, I don't know, and then um, that'll be contained in its own compartment. All right, but then we've got a set screw on the other side. So it's going to have four places to keep it straight in line. And this here will just be to tighten it up. So basically we just shove it in there until it reaches the bottom. Of course there's going to be a bottom to it. And then we'll tighten it up right here. And now we got it tight. So once we get it all said and done, cleaned up, we'll paint the, or uh, clean these up and, and tighten them up. And who knows, maybe just by itself with a cap on this side and a cap on this side cleaned up, it might look pretty good. And just put something over top of this. In fact, I could probably just take and cut them threads clear off and shorten that and I would still have enough guide to hold the top. So this is just a, a, an idea. It don't mean that it's going to happen. If I get to a point where I see that it's not going to happen, then we'll stop on it and tell you it's a fail. But I don't think it's going to be a fail, to be honest with you. Yep, 
we definitely want this on there. And I may go ahead and cut them threads off because it does look bad. Kind of makes it look like plumbing. Uh, it's going to look like plumbing anyway, but uh, I'd like to um, make it look a little bit better. So we might just take and uh, cut these threads here off and still have the thickness of the bolt, which should be about that thick, um, to guide the top to hold it in place. So. We're going to go ahead and um, set up and cut that off of there, and I don't know. I might just leave that on. It gives it a better, a longer shank. i just put something around it. No big deal. So now we've got that. All right, well, we've, we're getting a, a better plan here. I uh, found this piece. I didn't find it. I bought it. Um, I bought this last week and thought, you know, I could probably use some one-inch aluminum stock. And it turns out that I can. So, basically, this here is the piece that goes on the two monitors that I'm going to be using, and they're identical. So I'm using this as a template to make my bracket. And I'm thinking I can use this as a mounting bracket right there, just like that. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be, uh, I'm going to mount it down just like that right there. And I'll have screws coming up through it into this. And I can use this as a template to make my marks where I want it to be. And um, then I just have to find me some screws that will go up in there that's long enough because the ones that was on it was these little short ones. So I might have to find longer screws. And make that so that it's set there on, on that or bolts to it. Then I'll take and... bore a hole in this right here to allow for that to slide up and down on the post and then I'll cut it off right here and I'll put a set screw in the back side of this and that will set it where it should be and that will allow me some flexibility I don't know if you guys can see that part let me uh, look That will allow me some flexibility for the monitor the top of it to be here. Now, I'm not going to be running it backwards. I'm going to be running it forward. So that part doesn't really matter. So it's always going to be setting like that right there. And this ain't going to stay because it ain't got the weight of the monitor on it. But anyway, you get the idea. And this way... I can have the uh, z-axis adjustable and it'll go pretty tall uh, right now I, if I do this and still have this underneath of it and I'm probably going to go ahead and cut them threads off like I had plant originally thought of on this that will lower it so right now our height would be Something like that right there and I really don't want it that tall so you know even though that is that high my monitor needs to go that high anyway in fact it needs to go beyond it so I should be good uh, but just to make sure I have plenty of down I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut that lip off right there so, um, that's our plan. So, we're going to try to attack this plan. Then, I've got to figure out which way I want to go, or if I want to make it adjustable. I should be able to make it adjustable this way, too. I'd like to make these so that they're adjustable. 
and it's a good possibility that I can make it adjustable. I just got to figure out the right the right method to the madness. <laughs> um, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But we'll figure it out. You can bet on that. I got enough stuff around here. We'll figure something out. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut these off, get that lowered, and probably go ahead and clean these up too while I'm off camera because I want to listen to some music. So I'll go ahead and clean all this up and we'll be back. All right, guys, here's what we got going on. I've got this block, got two of them, and I need the hole on one side. So, I put it in there without this block, and it didn't work out very well. The thing just vibrated all the hell back. It was way out of balance. So I just found a piece of steel here, and put it in there and tighten it down real tight and now we don't have it uh, out of balance as bad so just for shits and giggles let me recheck this we definitely don't want this coming out this is how you do a hole off center so now what we're going to do is start drilling. It's still just a little out of balance, but um, no big deal. Now we need to put our chuck in and center drill our piece. Close enough to center for me. Right, so now what we're doing is milling out a countersink to have these uh, basically to make these screws longer so they'll go in and hold the bracket for the monitors so we're just doing two lines instead of countersinking we're just going to do two lines and that'd be it so now we've got it set at 30 uh, and we're going to take 30 out of it and we've got our speed at 2,000 with a half inch bit and cutting pretty good.
so now we've got this milled out and that's as far as we're going to go basically all that's for is just to keep these the head of these screws level with this or below it and um, this is number one and we're probably going to do some corners cut some corners off but um, until I get the functional part working then I'm not going to do anything to it until I've got it function functioning and function functioning correctly anyway let's take this bad boy out and there is the part now I'll meet you over at the bench after I get all this deburred and cleaned up